Hey y'all, how you doing today? So this is the results of my uh, rose petal dyed paper. I still have one more uh, pan of paper soaking right now, but that is um, I think 11 by 14 cardstock. And I put notes on here because I did a few different things. And so we're just gonna start from the top and work our way down. So this pile was just hand dipped. I patted it dry with a towel and I used my heat press to dry it. Now, in my opinion, it just looks like dirty paper, right? There really is not much color change to it. I don't know how well you can see. Not much color change. Okay, this one here was soaked in a pan for um, an hour and this particular pan happens to have rust spots on the bottom, which is why I use it for dyeing paper. Um, I patted it dry and then I put it in the oven to dry at 250. It took about, I'm, you know, I'm not really sure which, which takes longer because this, uh, my heat press sets up at 300 and I set the oven to 250 and I'm not really sure, I'll have to time it. Um, this stack here, I soaked in a different pan that does not have any rust stains in it. And I soaked this for two hours. Um, so this one here, the, these here must have been on the bottom. Actually, maybe it does have rust on there. But that's why I use it because that, you know, coating they put on the pans um, has come off. So this one soaked for two hours and this one soaked for one hour. And this is darker than these here. I mean, some of these came out pretty good, um, but that one hour soak uh, was a, a better color for me. Um, so this here is cardstock and I soaked this for two hours. And I soaked it in the same pan that I soaked the other ones in for an hour. And um, they came out pretty good, I suppose. Um, some of them better than others, right? There's some white spots in there. Um, and then this stack here, uh, I let the solution sit on the counter um, overnight. So this one here, I... Um, soaked it for two hours and I put it in the pan that has the most rust in it. And um, then I did not pat it dry with the, with the towel. I just put it on parchment paper and I put it in the oven. So this took longer to dry than um, the regular drying time. Oh, that came out pretty cool. Um, this one wasn't drying, so I did take it off the parchment. You can see the lines in there from the oven. Um, but what I figured out was if you put it on parchment paper when you put it in there, I don't know if it necessarily makes it dry faster, but um, it doesn't put those lines in there if you happen to um, get it a little toasty <laughs> and not um, let it, uh, if you let it sit in there too long, like, and I say that because I happen to be on my phone texting and uh, a couple of these um, that I was doing with a different set of papers, um, avocado, I still had some avocado dyed left and I don't know where I put that stack, but I will do a quick video on that um, because those are completely different. Um, but it's amazing how the different pans, the different soak times, hand dipped, uh, different pans, whatever have you, dried off, not dried off, heat pressed, all of that makes a difference. So I hope you enjoyed this little video. I hope everyone's having a crafty day. And as soon as I find that other stack of avocado dyed paper, I will uh, show it to you. Oh, wait a minute, here it is right here. Because what happened with this was I thought I had enough solution left and this is cardstock. So 
I don't know how well you can see this blown up here. So this is actually a purpley blue. Um, what happened was I thought that there was enough solution left to cover everything because um, it looked like it. And I, I wear gloves and so, you know, I patted it down and I swished it around. But all these blue spots that you see is uh, where no solution got on it. And so I had some avocado dye uh, or avocado solution left. See this one I left in the oven a little bit too long. I was texting somebody and I got sidetracked. Um, but this blue here, I put it in a spray bottle that happens to be metal. Um, I also have some coffee. I figured I would try that with a couple too. And I didn't really, I like this. This looks different and interesting. Um, this just looks, you know, kind of boring if you ask me. Uh, these ones here came out pretty cool because they were on the bottom of the pan. Right? But these are extremely stiff. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to iron them with my heat press. Um, I never thought I would see the day where I was gonna iron paper. <laughs> but um, there you go. Have a crafty day and stay tuned. I am in the middle of also fixing that uh, journal that I've been working in for personal stuff and I broke the spine and hopefully I'll have that finished later today. So I will see you soon. Stay tuned.